Hello, I'm Dr. Laura Murillo. So happy to be here celebrating at the University of Houston's College of Education commencement. Sitting next to me is Dr. Campos. Dr. Campos today is receiving her honorary doctorate degree at age 90 after many, many decades of service to our community, whether it was serving as a teacher, being a political force here in our area, serving on the board of HISD, or being a mother of four. So many of us have looked up to her leadership and admired all of the work that she has done, including myself. I was fortunate to have grown up in the East End as well and saw the work that she and so many other Latinas in our area did. And we are a byproduct of women like Dr. Campos. So it is my honor to interview her before she crosses that stage. Dr. Campos, first, congratulations and thank you for being a leader to so many, including to me, for so many years so long ago. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Murillo. It's a pleasure to, to be here and to be a part of what is going on in our city today and all the young people that are graduating today. They're to be uh, congratulated because I was there before. <laughs> yes, you were. And you were a pioneer. Did you even know that you were setting this example for so many people? No way. I was, it was 11 years from uh, the year I graduated from high school to where I enrolled here at U of H as a mother of three. Oh my goodness. And I had my fourth child in my junior year. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I would come back, but I did. And at and that I've been time, coming back. and at that time, even for a woman to work, that was exceptional, but for a woman to work and have children and be getting not only a degree, but a doctorate and, and even a master's degree, very unusual for the time. And a very important person was my husband. Oh. We were married 57 years. Yes. And he was always uh, by my side and being a, supporting me in everything that I did. Study abroad, you know, who does this? What woman goes to Guatemala and Mexico and, and study there with three children, four later. When you were in school, was your mother living when you were doing these things? Oh, yes. So what was her response to all of this? Well, um, she was a little hesitant because she felt like I would get married, and then what was all this education good for? Yes. And so this weekend you celebrated with a lot of people, unfortunately via Zoom because of the pandemic, but you got to see a lot of friends who finally get to celebrate with you. How did you feel during that call? Well, I'm getting telephone calls even today, <laughs> you know, even this morning and yesterday evening had a number of phone calls and it's, it's good to be remembered. Yes, and you did so much. Going back to your, your political career, what was that like for you? And as you look at that and the challenges that HISD still has today, what are your thoughts? Well, I learned quickly that I couldn't go to the superintendent and tell him about all our needs and all the problems that we were having uh, in school and uh, in the classes, but I could call my state legislators and get them and informed because sometimes they need that information in order to make the good decisions. And that's where it all starts. And unless we get to those people that are making the decisions, it's, nothing's gonna change. Yeah, so advocacy is very mm -hmm. important. So you have grandchildren. And what is your hope for that generation, not just your grandchildren, but for this next generation of young people? We all live together in this world and whatever happens to the other person happens to us. So we need to, uh, to work for all, all the children and in every phase of their lives. Yes. And what a beautiful day to open the Houston Chronicle to see you on the cover and certainly for, again, all the people who are out there that this be an example, that it's never too late to finish what you've started, that it's never too late to go back to school and sitting next to us here Dr. Campos is an example of that, and we'll be crossing the stage shortly, and so we pay tribute to her and her family for all that they've done to be supportive. Anything that you'd like to close with? Well, I just wanna thank you and the legacy that you're continuing because there has to be someone there to follow up and continue the, the work that some of us have started through the years. Well, I thank you for that, and one closing question. What do you think will be your legacy? My legacy are my 13 great-grandchildren 
and I have three great, great grandchildren. And so I know that they will be, uh, Houston, there are Houstonians and they will be making a contribution. Well, thank you so much. And again, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining us. What a truly inspiring individual. We are so honored that you are allowing us to honor you. The University of Houston, upon recommendation of the university faculty and with the approval of the University of Houston System Board of Regents, now confers upon Mrs. Maria Esther Estrada Campos the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations, Dr. Campos. We are so proud and grateful.